Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That's a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's why I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. What bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little shade and his robot. There are shades here? Your brother was killed by a shade? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? It's killing time. But I thought it was debris that killed your brother. Because he was trying to save you because... Because it was falling? Because you, you knocked it over accidentally? I, I mean, I guess it could have been some kind of trap set by a shade. But I just knew it. I knew there was a shade operating this old factory. At least I think there is. I have been wondering about that, the idea of uh, that his brother was killed by a robot, because that didn't seem to be what happened whatsoever. It seems like he just kind of arbitrarily assigned guilt to the robots. It didn't really seem to be something they, well, did. Wait, Labyrinth Whisper? Man, these have some fancy names. Which one have I been using a lot? Um... Where is Faith? There it is. What does o uh, Otira do? Oh, it ups the EXP rate. I have to say, in this case, since we're going to fight robots, I think I would prefer a uh, high a high item drop rate. There we go. What does this do? Oh, I like that. Actually, come to think of it. What's this weapon again? Yeah, this is a beast curse. Um, maybe what I'm gonna do, maybe what I'll do is this. I should probably also give it some better words. It's been a while. We've been getting a lot of magic words. Except here we still want, uh, no, Mahira. Because, after all, it's important that we get as much scrap as we can while this place is an active factory, you know. Still, though, I can't get over how these guys just don't care that they destroyed a whole city. What the? What the heck? What was that? Well, anyway, something is keeping him from moving forward there. I mean, near. I really, you know, admired you for how principled you were, how, you know, unquestionably you did good deeds, unwaveringly even. But now, you don't care, care that you killed hundreds of people, that you compelled a... He's not an innocent, of course, but a nice kid to do that. And you, and you don't, you don't even care. You're not the man I fell in love with. Whatever... Whatever road you're going down here, man, I don't think it's a good road. On the contrary, I think it's a very, very dangerous one. Still, though, where's the robot that killed his brother? I mean, that's a pretty tall order. It could be anywhere. It's probably on the second story. I mean, let's be honest here. Well, fine, I'll just deal with them this way, the old-fashioned way.
Okay, that was my carelessness. So do I want to go into one of those lower basement levels, or do I want to go to the upper story? I'm not entirely sure. And I see that's the kind of destruction that Nier should be administering with each blow. But instead, is not, you know. At least these are very weak robots. Still though, you would think by now that uh, Well, I mean, I don't know. You probably should have asked about where this shade was. Because this is a big facility. I mean, it could be just about anywhere. But, well, it's probably on the second story. But I'm going to go downstairs first just to make sure. Hey. Hey, Mr. Robot. Bye, Mr. Robot. Oh. Oh. There we go. I know that some of these parts they drop are parts we already have like a million of. But truthfully, the parts that... I mean, I don't care about those. The parts that I'm here for are parts that I do not have a million of. The parts that, on the contrary, I have very few of at all. But this isn't the direction I need to go. I made a mistake when I went this way. Or not a mistake exactly, like nothing disastrous happened because I went this way. But what I'm here to find is elsewhere. Specifically, it's up here? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say up here because we're not going north, we're going to the... Okay, that wasn't it either. Well, um... I'm not entirely sure where we're going in this gold factory. Still though, once again, Shades must have intelligence if there's a Shade who's able to keep this place running. There must be. But I mean, Nier, we knew there were Shades here. We got a sealed verse here, remember? And those sealed verses have something or other to do with Shades. So don't act all surprised when you hear that there's a Shade here, all right, Nier? That's the point I'm trying to get to, get to you. But what I have to say, though, is our entire crusade was justifiable. No, not yet. It was justifiable entirely because the Shades were mindless killing machines, more or less. But now that we're finding out that, you know, they're not, you, you shouldn't you... It's, I mean, at this point, I guess you've gone too far down this road to change your tune, haven't you? But maybe, just maybe, you're gonna find out that the Shadow Lord, who looks so much like you, feels the same way about humans that you feel about shades. And you'll realize, you'll realize the folly of, of your entire way of, of approaching this situation. But by then, what'll you do, huh, Nier? Is I don't know that there's anything you can do, other than die, or become some monster that Yona's afraid of, as bad as any of the shades. I mean, I have the foresight to see this near, but you don't. It's kind of, it's an interesting sort of, of dissonance that this highlights. The fact that, as a player, I strongly disagree with what the player character is doing. But I don't really have a choice, because I am not near, even if I enable him. Nier is a very distinct um, set of motivations and goals from, from whatever I might want. And while of course it's true that most of the time video game protagonists aren't exactly doing things that I would do, like assuming that I there were shades and I had the strength to fight them like this, well I mean, like I said, sometimes they're is actually quite justifiable what Nier is doing, because, like, the Shades are, like, murdering people. You idiots! I tell you, Kaine's gonna be the death of him one of these days. 
Okay, now what? This way. Er, not? Oh yeah, we're just going through like all these side rooms. I mean, in effect. Because the more of these you go through, the more stray parts you're gonna find, right? I mean, it's the goal at least. Well, now that I've taken out these things, I'm sure you guys can handle the weak flying robots. Just so. But what's this? More robots, of course. That kind of dissonance between player and player character, I don't encounter that too often. Um, and whether that's, you know, a good thing or a bad thing, I mean, it depends on the intentions, I guess, of the design. In this case, I think the intentions are to sort of put us in the headspace of a man who is becoming something of a genocidal maniac. But, you know, he still has some good in him. I mean, his motive is ultimately, in some sort of perverse way, love. And there can be no doubt that he is kind to Kaine and to uh, Emil. Perhaps more so than anyone else they've ever known. But still, Nier, I think you're going down a long, dark road. Oh, hi. Hey, guys, wanna, guys wanna, wanna fight? I can fight? I sure can, believe me. You'd be hard pressed to find a better fighter than Nier. Be they shades or robots, he can take him out. I mean, he always took a certain revelry in the destruction he causes, but in the past, it was different than now. Because, but now, I mean, I can't, I just can't believe it. Like, Nier isn't a man who would kill hundreds of people and just shrug it off. Well, I didn't think he was anyway. In fact, no, he wasn't. I know he wasn't. He has become one, though. As I said before, being covered in head to toe in blood will change a man. Ah, we're not gonna find much good around here, are we? Hey. Now, it'll just be more of these worthless parts. Man, Emil and Kaine are sure difficult to run past. They really stand their ground. I mean, they must have, you know, have fought this long with Nier. I mean, to be clear, some of these shades, you know, it's perfectly justifiable what Nier does to them. Like, for example, that giant shade that was destroying the Airy. Not the one, not the one-eyed one, but the sort of lizard-looking one. Is this really where we want to go? Um, probably not, because there's like a barrier here, right? Yeah, yeah, forget it, let's go. Well, again, I don't know. Check this room out if you want. Well, we don't have much choice anymore, do we? Yeah, look down there, look at that. It's molten metal down there, I think. Something like that, it's very hot anyway. That isn't something a man touches and gets away from alive. At least that's my view of the matter. Oh, hey, a robot. And Nier died. That would have been a happier ending, I bet you, than what's gonna happen, because Nier is gonna turn... He's gonna turn into something terrible. He's gonna turn into a... Well, there's a Shadow Lord, so what about a Light Lord, huh? That's what he'll be. He'll be something like that. but not in a good way. The same way that one is a ruthless genocidal maniac, I can't help but worry what the second one's gonna be. I mean, just call me crazy. To 
think, though, that all these years that shade's been manufacturing more of these robots. It's extraordinary, really, that level of dedication. But why, to what end, has it done this? But moreover, this thing preserves technical knowledge of the past. Imagine what that could do for us if only we... If only we had that knowledge. You know, if we could revive industrial production techniques, we could think of all the shortages that would end. Why, that's one way to save the world. Well, after killing the Shadow Lord. In some way, the shade who's been building these things is smarter than any, you know, not smarter per se, but has some know-how that no one else on Earth does. I mean, as far as we know. They seem to be talking about this little country they're in as if it's the whole world, which strikes me as, well, kind of naive, because how could it be the whole world? It's just a little... These electricity shooting ones are the worst freaking ones. Another one of those guys. Yeah, this is nothing I haven't seen many times before. Doesn't mean I can get careless though, does it? No, it doesn't. Or at least I shouldn't get careless. I can certainly can get careless. I mean, strictly speaking, I was just careless, so it is indeed possible to be careless. That would explain why these are, robots are using the same kind of magic that Shades do, though. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow the Shade that manufactured this place is just doing it mindlessly because it was created to do that by the makers of this uh, infernal Project White Snow. There wasn't any parts from that big guy. What a waste. We're about to get a bomb, though, right? Yeah. I tell you what. This design still makes no sense. Like, why would they have done that? What possible purpose would it have served to have these things dispense bombs when they're destroyed? That strikes me as something that could only potentially help an enemy. I mean, right? What else could it possibly do? I can't think of anything. I appreciate the, uh, health magic there, Emil. Yeah, that shrapnel still would've hurt near, but he got away alright. Because he's a tough guy. Because he's no ordinary guy. But we've been through this many a time. Although at this point, I must say, I think Nier has found his definitive weapon. This thing makes him just about unstoppable. Just about. Oh, this part. The bad part about this part is you don't even get any any scrap. But fine, you know? This is what we have to do? So be it. The first cannons are up ahead. There they are. Any other takers? Why, yes, there are, unsurprisingly. I mean, I know there's going to be more takers. I didn't have to say it like I'm surprised. I don't, I, like, it's, it's a rhetorical question, of course. I'm well aware there are more takers. Y you know, it's there's really no need to ask. It's just silly. But it's, I'm doing it because it seems kind of like a cool thing to do. Even though in the context, it, it might seem a bit... I, I don't know. Perhaps I shouldn't be implying this level of confidence against these cannons that are obviously designed to... Uh, you know, kill people. I mean, that's not a, that's, that's not a joking matter. Like, you know, Nier's life is very much in danger right now. There's a very good chance that he could die at any second here. 
I mean, you don't always ask him to not take risks, but you have to take risks. He has to. Oh, great. Now robots and cannons at the same time? I mean, it's not anything I, that's surprising to me, obviously. I'm well aware of what was going to happen. I do wish that these things would lay off already. Like, it's clear that the shade building this place is trying to kill us. Not that I'm surprised they are after all the robots we've destroyed. But as far as I can tell, yeah, the, the brothers just arbitrarily assigning guilt to the, you know, to a random robot that happened to be nearby when his brother died. Because, it, you know, you, we saw what happened. It wasn't like there was some robots and they just ran up to and killed his brother. Now, in a more metaphorical sense, I suppose we could say they did indeed uh, kill him because they wouldn't have been in this mountain to begin with if it weren't for the robots. But of course, you're already here, Kaine. Yeah, yeah. I swear, Kaine. Why do you gotta, like, mock us that way, huh? It just seems sort of... I don't know. Insensitive. You never even offered Nier to show him how to teleport. Granted, it's probably not just something you pick up. It's probably a little more elaborate than that. Here's one. On the subject of robots. Really? It did that little damage? But how? How did it do less damage than just attacking it with a spear? Well, I suppose that in effect, it's like throwing a series of spears at it. Well, it's like throwing spears at it if you were really good at throwing them, you know? You see, that's what it should have done like before. See, we got a bit of memory alloy. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? You know, at the same time that that young guy with the robot arm has been trying to devote himself to completely destroying all robots, at the same time as he's been doing that, he has also depended on these things for, you know, his livelihood, because they mine metal out of them. Although in that respect, I suppose that really, they could probably do without them, since, uh, the, the important thing is the robot's constituent items, not the robots themselves. And, like, the stuff that makes up the robots would remain even if the robots themselves were gone. Well, we've come this deep. This is where some of the valuable parts are, you know? Oh, nothing through there. Oh, but a few robots. They're gone now. Oh, I see. This is where they're all coming from. Not much left of them, though, is there? Nope, not much. I just wish that we're getting some more good, golden, shiny, rare items. I mean, that's what I want here. It's valuable scrap. Um, given that these are, you know, combat robots, it really... There really isn't the same level of um, guilt here as there is with, say, the Shades. Okay, who's next? Ah, this room. You guys come in, you're gonna teleport in. They're gonna teleport in only after the battle's well underway. Because they want to be helpful, you know. Alright, here we go. Let me let you know on a secret about Nier, okay? If you hurt him, he doesn't like that when you hurt him! Okay? I mean, to be clear. I know that you guys might have thought you were being friendly by electrocuting him and everything else. But, he, he doesn't like that, okay? So, knock it off. Well, nothing else is gonna come out of there, huh? Thank you, Emil. Oh, 
there are still robots. I miss them. At the same time that this is a kind of repetitive grind, I feel like that's the intention from a game design standpoint. This is like, um, I mean, in a lot of ways, this strikes me as something like flower, sun, and rain. You might say, what's well, the... What does this possibly have in common with that? Well, it seems to actively be designed to let the player know that it doesn't like them and wants them to be unhappy. Darn it, I faced the wrong way. Okay guys, come here. I'm gonna make you come all the way over here because I know otherwise you're gonna get in my way and gonna get near killed. I swear you guys, you're gonna be the death of it. Okay. More likely he'll be the death of you! I pressed the button! Look, I have to pick this up. I have to use this one. There's no other one here I can use. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Throw it! Oh, God. Fine. I'll check out this room! Oh, I like how it's a nice touch that near decided, yeah, I'm not gonna break this crate because we're shut in. Because it's a huge surprise that we're shut in. I never would have known this. I mean, Vice, I know you're just trying to be helpful. But after a while, like, I get the idea. I don't need you to keep pointing it out over and over again, okay? Worst part was there's no scrap to be gotten from those cannons. No scrap at all. Now here we go. This is what I'm here for. After all. Oh, there are more cannons, huh? Well, don't worry, guys. I'll take out the cannons. You take out the robot. Or Nier can just do everything. Because I think Nier has more anger in him than the two of you combined. Certainly more than Emil. Emil is such a pure soul, it almost seems wrong for him to be with these guys, if we're being honest. Though perhaps it's not surprising. Perhaps Kaine really is, I mean, Kaine obviously is nicer at heart than she normally comes off as being. You know, she sits around roasting marshmallows, just having a great old time, telling spooky ghost stories. Only here they're probably real. Because, I mean, you've seen some of the stuff we've dealt with. I don't, ghosts don't strike me as too out of the line of possibility. Although I shouldn't call them ghosts, they're probably shades. There's so much scrap lying around and it's just useless to us. Useless! Okay, now it's a series of these big guys. They always drop rare items. Oh, come on, not a single one? I guess I need to remember that they're invincible for some reason as they just rise into the room. You know, that doesn't make any sense. Well, it's time to take another one out in a few seconds. Well, even near his off days, you know? Who doesn't, right? So I was wrong. There were only two in here. I thought there were three. You can understand why I'd think that looking at the floor plane. In any case, there are more down here. Unless I already have gotten the stuff I need and simply haven't noticed it. Like this one. No, I still don't have nearly enough broken lenses, but more than enough of everything else. What about this one? Oh, I just need to get some logs. 
Yeah, I can I can do that. I mean, there are places I can just go buy logs, right? Wait, what the? Oh, I actually... I actually have all the parts. Okay, I'll bring those to him. Um, I don't have the crystal, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I still need more machine oil. Wait, how much machine oil do I need? No, no, this one. Just one more. And then I can also repair the the, the wheel and in, in back in ho back in our hometown. This will be good. What's left? Well, that room. Did I ever get get into that room before? Um, I don't know. Did I? I mean, it's just... Oh wait, you can't get in there anyway because the door doesn't work. My bad, I've been to every room then. Come on, guys. Actually, wait, this is not the way we need to go, is it? Yeah, this is not the way we need to go. My bad. I don't think we're gonna find that shade down here. I suspect the shade is actually higher rather than lower in the mountain. But you know, if they really wanted to kill us, they could just have the walls close or something. Although obviously this facility isn't built to do that. Clearly whoever's running the place is some kind of technical master. So surely that you know, something like like that wouldn't be out of their hand out of the question for them. It's never going to become not satisfying to see Nier just take down that many robots at once. It's pretty spectacular in its way. Guys, move! What is it with them and just standing dead still, forcing Nier to just shove past them like some sort of mannerless brute? Well, he's not too far removed from being a mannerless brute, I guess. down here. Does it go down any lower? Are there any visible paths beneath us? Not that I see. Not that I see. Hey. You guys wanna... wanna tango? Yeah. I'm not gonna get any parts off of them though, so why even bother? But here's one. Here's one I can get parts off of. See? Just so. Why, here's another part I can get off of them. Well, it's a good thing Nier wasn't even knocked, wasn't blown off of the walkway here. Or that would be the end of his adventure. Why, well, here's one. I let it explode. I've you know, it's a. I've heard of a shade living hmm? with a machine. What's that about? It doesn't matter. I'll kill the shade and anyone who gets in my way. Oh, so wait, the shade was down here? Really? I'm just kind of surprised. I thought it would be on the second floor. But, alright, sure, if there's a shade down here, I can... Uh, alright. The shade in a machine, huh? Beyond this hole lies the robot. I'm going in. I wish I had half the courage you possess. Oh, you're coming with me. Wait, does that mean that all the times that Nier has been down here now, there happened to be a shade down here all along, and he just never happened to just... How, like, how does Vice know it's going to be there this time? I mean, we've been down there before. We've been down this, this road many times. Well, whatever. The iron will, huh? I mean, it's extra heavy. 
I'm sure it could really back a punch, though. Ow. This one does have guns. This one has guns. Look at the shade. That thing is commanding the robot somehow. Aim for the legs. Knock it down. Take out the shade. Shade at this point doing seemingly unshade like things, Kaine. It's not a big deal. Frankly, that shade looks a little bit like the robot. It had the same little sort of round head and weird little eyes. Creepy little round eyes. To be honest, when I first saw this robot, I thought there was something almost imploring in its inhuman alien sort of glance. I realize now that that was perhaps naive. Still, though, this is definitely the shade that happened to be there when his brother died, but did it actually do it? I mean, did it even do anything? Have any part of that at all? Because I don't think it did. Like, it didn't look like it did. It looked like it just happened to witness the scene. Now, maybe it could have helped if it actually cared, but, I mean, I guess it didn't. In which case, it definitely is different than Nier. Nier would have helped. able to do up there, right? Okay. Well, we might have to see what it's able to do up there. Look out! Muttering about escaping? What are you going on about? Oh! Amazingly, it didn't quite hit near there, but. This bastard's pretty crafty for a robot! Is it like talking about that it wants to leave this place and see the world? Is that what it was saying? Only a robot can face the majesty of Grimoire Vice. I can't concentrate with all this bullshit fancy talk! Oh, calm down, Kaine. Well, I mean, maybe not since this thing is really trying to kill us. Squat him down! I'm getting killed here! I'm working on it, Kaine! So what is it, the robot? And what is your error, huh? Is it that you want to see the world? 
Did it develop self-awareness, or is that the, like, is the shade talking through the robot? If so, it seems a bit confused, you know? What the heck? Mir, you hit... Why did you... Um, it's multiplying? I'll be. Oh, it's still a shade, though. Oh, wait, this was the original. We were going after a duplicate. Still, it's a pretty pathetic shade in comparison with some of the normal ones we go up against. You're gonna break your um, hands, kid. Never seen a shade's body linger like that, though. I mean, I guess I have, but Why not too did often. You have to be here. Hitting that thing won't bring your brother back. But he's dead, and it's this bastard's fault. And hitting it makes me feel better. Just wait, you freak! You goddamn freak! I'm gonna explore this entire mountain now. I'll make terrible weapons, killing machines. No one can stop me. <laughs> um, yeah. Madness driven by hate. This is hardly the happy ending I was expecting. He doesn't know any other way. Revenge is a fool's errand. I know. This is the last of them. Now we can find the Shadow Lord. And Yona. We certainly can. We're almost there, Yona. Hold on. Well... A few hundred people died to make it happen, but yeah. I guess we are almost there, aren't we? I can't help but worry, though, what we're gonna find when we get there. We should return to Popola and see if she has any final words for us. Not a bad idea. I suppose we should keep her abreast of what's going on, more or less. By now, she probably has heard about the Airy, though. But nobody knows what happened there except Nier. I used to think that the first word of this song that's playing here was Yona, but I realize that I'm wrong. It's like, well, you'll hear it in a sec. See, it's Yukonai. Whatever that means. Well, forget our struggles against the shades, okay? Just for a second, because this, because that, because all of these other ones are basically irrelevant. Once the Shadow Lord is gone, all these other problems will be taken care of. And the Shadow Lord should know better than to send these kinds of small fry after me. Or I suppose Grimoire Noir is probably the brains behind all this. Ahole. Eh? 
Increase attack power 20%. Wow. This weapon we the near has is already unstoppable. But really, it has begun less to feel like we're going into battle and more like near is just running around butchering everything. All these tall ones, huh? It's strange all the different shapes and forms that shades can, you know, come in. What I find really strange, though, is what was going on in the area. So, like, they can turn into humans or control humans' bodies or something? Yeah. Hey, what's this? This is an odd spot for something to grow. Oh, it's a tree branch. I need a few of those, actually. Maybe I should have looked around here more often. I might have them then, you know? On the subject of which, perhaps I should go back to the to the junk heap and find that last piece of oil. I mean, I don't know, I should go save Yona, but motor oil, guys. Just one more. If I just find one more sample of motor oil, we can not only get the treasure map made, right? But we'll be able to we'll be able to repair the wheel back in back in town. I mean, obviously well, there are more important things to do. What am I even saying, talking about something like that? Who cares about treasure maps or whatever when we can... when we're this close to saving Yona? I mean, I'm interested in seeing what clever twist end there's going to be as much as anybody else. As much as the next guy. But we, we have places to be. We have things to do. Yeah, there she is. What's up? Why are you standing here? Hey. Hey, I remember you. You still tracking wolves? No, I've moved on to Shades. They've been pretty active lately. Huh. Well, be careful, right? 